one thing nobody ever thinks of and it comes down to earthquake camera time as always right that flame sensor will sit right in front of the last burner it's kind of a safety when you think about it you get the hot surface igniter right there it'll light this flame here the crossover carries it to this burner the crossover carries it to this burner well if you put the flame sensor igniter together well something didn't right light over here because the crossover was dirty well you're dumping natural gas in an area and at some point you could have a dangerous situation where something goes wrong with the flame sensor there if it does not pick it up here because something here clogged up the pathway on the crossover well <clears throat> it will shut off and not allow the furnace to run not a lot of people like to take the time to take your scotch bright or something and try to clean right in front of that burner some burners it's real easy some burners it's a little more complicated than on the others pressure switch you'll have a whole bunch of quarter inch screws let's see if I can find one and zoom in on it right there right there those little quarter inch screws like that just like this will hold that burner plate in well one two three four of them remove it you'll have the burner out and can clean it be very careful you have to remember hot service igniters are very sensitive to touch and drop if you drop it well you break it touch it you break it bump it you break it so anything other than just sitting there or in a nice padded box or something well can you guess what's going to happen you got it you broke it right all right we're going to take this burner out now, you're probably wondering how is he able to reach and grab those screws like that. I cheated. When I readjust the camera, I sat there and broke them loose because sometimes it's really easy. Sometimes it's really hard. I know, somebody's probably going, I can't see what he's doing. That's all right. It's called earthquake camera time. Just like this. Right there is where a screw was. So you see how there's a screw here. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. Just in case anybody's wondering about that, right? Righty tighty, lefty loosey little stubby nut drivers come in handy with these green furnaces a lot of times you just kind of go in there like this I know somebody's going move your big fat hand there you see how it's on the nut driver I'm not fat I'm just big boned go like that now we have it to where we can remove it all right, we're going to try to remove this plate burner very carefully. Just like that. There it is. Got some gunk on top there. Not too, too bad. Not too, too bad. This is in good shape. Get a better view of the heat exchanger and all that stuff. All you have to do Lift it out of the spuds, 
slide it like sixteenth of an inch and it'll just come right back so it sits there go forward a little bit lift up pull back go forward a little bit lift up pull back there how's that so, for a song burners out of the furnace just like this important tool you need I like my flux brushes you'll see why good old scotch bright no 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 come back there we go now it's back in sight a rag yes I said the word rag just kind of wipe it down knock off some of it or another tool that you can use I like to use pookie brush I know somebody's going what's pookie I come from Colorado I don't live there now but that's where I come from we always call it pookie same thing as duck mastic, duck snot, mastic, duck sealant. Now, when we look at this bad boy here, you see that gap in between with those little bumps? Those are your crossovers. Very important just to go like this, go like this. See how I'm just go like this? Just all you got to do is brush it out a little bit. Each time you do that, you'll see a whole bunch of dust come out. Take it to burners. Take your flux brush like this. And in and out. You can put the rod in the hole and just go in and out like this. Put the brush in the hole. And you go in and out like this. Kind of rotate a little bit. In and out like this. Kind of rotate a little bit. You can kind of go like this. Kind of go like this. Kind of go like this. Just like that. We have successfully removed some dust and grime and everything. Make sure you just look them over. No cracks. Make sure the primary air is all cleaned up. This one's still a little dirty. That should do it. Now, when we look at this bad boy. Igniter, flame sensor, right? Take the Scotch Brite. And just knock some of that heavy soot and everything down. Because you want to make sure you get good contact from this sitting here like this. That inner blue cone on that flame conducts electricity. You want to get the signal that goes from the board to here through the flame to your ground. You don't get that incomplete circuit. It won't work. All that stuff. What fun. Right. Just agree with me and we'll move on. There we go. That's what we want.